Oshawott, that's that's just informing that I want to make. There's gonna be another channel in the in the uh, Discord for about like looking for group. The side of the tank being open doesn't have anything to do with Himiko's escape. She didn't use an escape hatch. I know she didn't do that. And now I'm gonna punch you. Oh, I was a little advanced. Okay, Wait good. Wait a second. Before you punch me, <laughs> what makes you so sure she didn't? Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. That wouldn't be magical at all. The whole trick would be ruined. With that out of the way, I'm gonna punch you. If it's true that the she opened the tank, water could have rushed out. Hmm. But that's exactly why there was a second step in this trick. If I figure out why the hatch was in that exact spot, I know the answer. Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. That wouldn't be magical Dang at all. it, I missed it. The whole trick would be ruined. But I know which one I'm using with now. That out of the way. I'm gonna punch you! Okay. I think we got it. USA won three to one. It was a very, it was a close map though. Good, good. I bet that was a lot more fun than to watch than like the stomping that was going on. Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. I'll probably watch there the VOD when I'm resting at one time. I'll cut through your words. There was a reason the room wasn't flooded with water. The staircase that was attached to the water tank. Try to remember how the staircase was positioned. It was aligned perfectly with the tank's escape hatch, meaning the water tank was connected to the inside of the staircase. Oh, yeah, well, Moss, it's... It's not the finals, I suppose, but that that is a good thing we probably should have thought up before we actually just said that out loud. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to spoil any of that if you guys are watching the All-Stars. That's me and Moss's fault. Our bad. Please please forgive us. As we were talking inside about spoilers before. Staircase. His body was in stairs? Knowing that, it's clear how Himiko made her escape from underwater. Black Blade? Have a great rest there of your weekend. Covering the tank during I'll see you the later. Performance. Oh. See, I thought she left through like a little flap. She actually just went in the stairs. That's actually Allowing a lot Kimiko cooler. to enter the staircase from the hatch undetected. Any water that spilled out would have simply funneled into the staircase. So how do you get out from the staircase? The staircase nice. Also has That's right. Hatch, we saw a little one thing. Facing away from us. Blade, have a great school week, sir. Don't let those bullies pick on you. Treat them with kindness back, and they'll eventually leave you alone. Versus you just trying to go head to head with their, their being a jerk. You be polite to them. You just say, no thanks, I don't want to talk to you. But good luck, sir. It's placed so that the water would not drain from the staircase. In which case, a person could exit and leave water inside the staircase. However, that person would be soaked, meaning that some trace should be left. That would explain why there was a puddle around the stairs. So when Himiko came out from the stairs, her wet clothes dripped water all over. Just soaking wet and red-handed. It's only suggestive because she said it. Yeah. Judging from Himiko's reaction, you hit it right on the bullseye. But Himiko's clothes should have been wet when she left the water tank. Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. 
Her clothes were definitely not wet. Of course. That's because my underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. No, magic had nothing to do with why your clothes weren't wet. No magic had nothing to do with it. Clothes were because she changed. That's it! It's because she changed her uniform. She had a lot of spare uniforms. She was fine. The dormitory is stocked with uniforms. Did you hide one behind the stage in advance? Random. Does that mean she has a bunch of hats? And does that also mean that we have a bunch of hats in our closet? The hats are going to rebel. I remember seeing Himiko go to the gym this morning carrying a uniform and a towel. Because Angie's actually she heartless. Had a towel too. She may not have had time to fully dry her hair. But her short hair and hat ensured we were none the wiser. Himiko can't get wet! Because her body repels water! That's a superpower. Huh? Like a duck? Himiko, come on. Give it up already. I mean, I would believe in magic. kind of rude though it's just like you said the water tank and staircase both have mechanisms so I was correct she seems so defeated but, but that doesn't mean I use them I didn't need them because I used my magic again with the magic crap <sighs> were you dropped on your head as a kid now that we understand how the trick was performed, let us move on. Yeah, we don't even need to prove to her that it's... it's fine. Yes, let us proceed. Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? From our discussion earlier, his body could have been in the space inside the staircase. I don't think it was. But that's where Himiko would escape from, right? So Himiko went in the stairs with the body? What kind of kinky shit is she into? What kind of kinky stuff do you think up? That seems unlikely. There isn't enough space for two people to fit in there. Yeah, the stairs are pretty cramped. It'd be hard to fit even Ryoma and Himiko in there. Kara, that thing that turns your frown upside down is turning in, is tuning in to Spiptastic Stream. Who says they went in together? She could have made the switch as she was leaving the tank. At the same time, she could have pulled out the body from inside the stairs. That way she'd have room to put herself in there. See how easy that is! I think that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. Again, Wait I don't think minute. that's where his body was. Why did you automatically assume it was Himiko? Who else but Himiko could have done it? Uh, Angie, you spent more time with Himiko than any of us, so why are you accusing her? You may think you're protecting Himiko, but what if she really is the culprit? We'll all die, and it will be all your fault. Atua will lose precious devotees. Um, right now it's just you and Himiko who are kind of all pro Atua, so you're saving your own butt. Are you okay with that, Tenko? fine with that nailed it what I don't care what anyone says Himiko would never murder someone that's what I believe more than anything I want to believe in her no matter what if I can't do that then I'd rather just die so until this body takes its final breath I'm gonna keep believing in Himiko The only one who could have switched out Ryoma's body is Himiko herself. When Himiko was escaping the tank, 
She dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. I'm listening first. And simply switched places with it. Are you telling me you saw that happen? No one could have seen that. It would have occurred in the middle of the show. When the tank was covered with a curtain. So basically, no one saw anything. I, I didn't do it, I swear. Ryoma's corpse wasn't in the staircase. Aha. Uh -huh. Quit lying, you donkey lip con artist. Donkey lipped? She's not lying. Oh, it's not that. Because they're saying nobody saw anything. And Gonta's account is that nobody was in the tank. Uh. I feel like it is going to be Gonta, though. Let's keep listening. The only one who could have switched out Ryoma's body is Himiko herself. When Himiko was escaping the tank, she dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Um, it might have actually been that one. Places with it. Yeah, she would. I agree with you, you that, that on that. No one could have seen that. Kara, Doki, I agree with that. The show. She could when be just really upset that people didn't enjoy the show. And it so could have been. She doesn't. No she, she didn't know. Uh, I didn't do it. I swear. Ryoma's corpse wasn't in the staircase. Uh, quit lying, you donkey lip con artist. She's not lying. She's not a con artist, and she doesn't have donkey lips. Amen. Is it possible that Himiko and Ryoma switch places in the water? But I feel like I'm forgetting an important point. You got to use it when it says no one saw anything. I tried that. That was the first one I did, I think. I'm going to do it when um, I think Kyo is saying something the early. One who could have switched out but I'm pretty body? sure we're going to use Gonta's Himiko account. Herself. When Himiko was escaping the tank. I think it's this one. She dragged out the body. <laughs> oh, it's not. Okay. We'll try it on yours again. Uh, use it when it says no one saw anything. We make sure I'm actually reading Gonta's thing. During the magic show, and when the timer hit 20 seconds, Gonta went on top of the stage. No one was in the tank during that time. Gonta didn't notice Ryoma inside the tank until after the piranhas were released. Okay. We'll try that again. Maybe I just missed. Oh no! Switched places with it. We're listening to chipmunks. Are you telling me you saw that happen? No one could have seen that. It would have occurred in the middle of the show, when the tank was covered with a curtain. So basically, no one saw anything. That's Good wrong. call, Moss. Well done, sir. I did it on the uh, one Kyo was saying when, it, or when Tenko was saying something. You meant that. Someone one. did see inside the tank. It was Gonta. Gonda had climbed onto the stage and was looking into the tank from above. Isn't that right, Gonta? Yeah, Gonta saw down into tank, but saw no one in there. No one was in there? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? No, that's actually a great clue, because... I feel like Gonta is going to be killed by somebody. For no reason. If Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, Himiko would have had to pull them out before she went inside. There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means, if the tank was empty when Gonta looked, Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. Hmm. What if they squeezed into that space with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught? She had no need to worry about us witnessing her at that point. For the entire stage was hidden behind a curtain. To all but Gonta, anyway. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase with the body. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster, and seems more rational, too. Then... Ryoma's body wasn't hidden in the stairs? Oh, Doki Doki, don't say that. 
possible. Someone better say where the fucking body was hidden, or I'm gonna start cutting throats! Where was Roma's body hidden? We need to pin that down. It's clear that it was not inside the staircase, but where? I agree, Kara. Even though he has 88 pounds, she's small. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? Pretty sure, Piranha Tank. After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. Yeah. Well, how about behind the curtain? If there was a way to enter the tank from there, then it would be plausible. Or maybe the body was in the tank all along, but we just couldn't see it. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? Why did that turn blue at the end? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were separated, I then it to... wouldn't have been devoured, correct? This needs to go on that last one that he just said. That's what I think. Why was he not eaten by piranhas, even though he was in the same tank? There was one piece of evidence at the crime scene that might explain it. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? After all, there was only enough space for him. <laughs> you, if you were gonna make to cosplay, you would be that you'd be Karumi. Then it would be plausible. The main thing you'd have to do is make then sure you get the, the, uh, body was in the, tank all along. the bullet shatter thing on but her we just right breast. See it. Otherwise, you just look like a maid. Top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were separate, no, no, come on, hit it. Then it wouldn't have Dang been devoured, it. correct? I try to hit the little thing, and it didn't work. That's what I'm trying to do. To make sure your eye is visible through your hair too. Like, have your bangs up, and then like, put your eye, like a like a picture of an eye on your hair as a hair clip. It'd be silly. But we just couldn't see it. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. Why does that change? What the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas Got it. I agree. That didn't count as a V hit? That looked like I hit it. Oh well. Progress! Kyo's hypothesis is correct. The body and the piranhas were separated. This was accomplished using the square glass pane found in the tank. <laughs> Just as I thought. So creepy. Using that glass pane as a divider, there you a go. safe space could be created in the tank. Mm -hmm. It is in such a space that the body could be stored, separated from the piranhas. And that means Ryoma's body was hidden in the piranha tank the whole time! Just like I thought. So Ryoma's body fell into the water tank with the piranhas? Yes. Gonta knew it! What is it, Gonta? Gonta was above stage when piranhas fall. That's why Gonta sees something no one else could. When piranhas fell, Gonta sees some big thing fall into water tank with them. Oh gosh, the timer goes to zero and then says death? The bottom of the suspended tank swung open and the murky water and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water tank Himiko was swimming in. Huh? Huh? No. Now that Gonta think about it, Gonta maybe see Ryoma's body. I think you did too. Doki, you hope that it's Angie because you want to see her executed. When the piranhas dropped from the tank, I thought I saw something bigger drop as well. I mean, her... I think it'll come to light once we figure out who had whose, um, like, motivation video. The water tank on the bottom is made completely out of glass, correct? 
You can see what is happening through the glass. Can you really hide a body in the tank? Yeah, because it's wood on like three Even of the four front water, sides. A dead body would still be visible in a glass tank. Unless a certain something was used to obscure the body. A certain something? We all agree that the glass pane was used to separate the body from the piranhas, correct? Well, that method has the added benefit of hiding the body from view. Yeah? How could you hide a body like that? How was the culprit able to conceal the body in the piranha tank? Uh... No. Hmm. Handcuffs. Piranha tank itself. Uh, it was kept in the magic lab, carried over. Only the front side was made of glass. The other sides were all made of wood. It looked like there was no lid from the start. This one. I would imagine it would be like the breeders in Danganronpa 2. She prays or something like that. Um, sure. That makes sense. Trick to the piranha tank. We were expecting you to provide us with the explanation of that trick. Oh, that's wrong? Really? What are they asking me? Show question. What exactly was obscuring the body from view? The, the piranhas. This is it! First try. It was the piranhas. The piranhas were obscuring the body. Her sprites are the best. That's right. Remember what Angie said during the investigation? I noticed it right as the show started. I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing. They increased that significantly? I didn't know piranhas fuck like rabbits. Or have gestation periods of less than, like, half a day. It seemed that way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. The glass pane divided the tank nearly in half, right? The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. The more densely the piranhas are packed, the harder it is to see past them. Because of that, it was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. That glass pane was... The lid from the piranha tank. It was really easy to detach that lid, so it's no wonder they used it as a divider. Gee, thanks for telling us that useless detail. That's not useless. What the heck are you saying? That detail was super useful! I agree with Tenko. Sure, the lid looks a little big, but if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. Nice job, Himiko! Your explanation was awesome! With this much evidence, it seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you! Mm, really? Uh, that's not cleared yet. You hate Tenko, Francis? I mean, she hates all males, and myself, being a male, am offended. Yeah, because if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him. It only means we now have other suspects. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. I have to agree with him. Okay, but still, that's way better. I agree with that. What a wonderful news, Himiko. Atua is happy for you. Apologize, Angie. You and your Atua better tell Himiko you're sorry right now. Yeah. Atua is sleeping. He went to bed angry because you all doubted him. Your god goes to sleep? Shows how fake he is. What a petty ass god! No, it's okay. We shouldn't be mad at Angie. We should be mad at this class trial. At this killing game. Bless your sweet, kind heart. You know what? I kind of want to hang out with Himiko next. After we get our other two people out of the way. 
I'd like to know why she's so not motivated. Like, she's always like, I'm half asleep. That's what Atua said, anyway. What? Oh, and why she agrees with Atua. It's too bad that the handsome god went to bed angry, though. Himiko's still brainwashed! Yep. But I'm not giving up just yet. This is gonna be a breeze. Yeah, I'm with you, Doki. Like, she seemed fine at first, but now she's like... Great, now what are we gonna do? We're back to square yeah. one. Something's off about her, and I don't care for her. And why are we back to square one? Because any of us could still be the culprit. Jeez! You flunk out a TARD school or something? I still don't like Mew because of that mouth. Nuh-uh. Not everyone. We can narrow it down to whoever doesn't have an alibi yet. No, because we still don't know when he was killed. Eh? What alibi? I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. So let me explain. Well, Kokichi's gonna die. Who are you calling a dumb pig? Oh gosh, it's freaking Toko. If there's Masochist. this much evidence, then there's no mistake the body was hidden in the piranha tank. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. Kokichi brings up a valid point. There's only one time the culprit could have set up this scene. There's only one time. It would have been... Yesterday during nighttime. Dang it. It's yesterday before? Okay. If you can't remember something so basic as the school regulations, you're useless. I was wrong! <laughs> I thought it could have been after, but I guess it's before. That's it! Hmm. It was done yesterday, before nighttime. I agree, Doki. That'd be an excellent reason why they should call her cow instead of for, you know, cow utters. Ding ding ding! Beautiful the cow. Ultimate utters. detective gets it right again! Wait, how do you know it was before nighttime yesterday? Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have been solved with the process of elimination. Jeez, fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea brained bitchlet. Yeah, I don't like him. The bitchlet! And she's a masochist. First, the gym was closed during nighttime, so no one could have entered. Because if you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. You talking about my butthole? No, she means the alarm. Yeah, alarm. After nighttime passed, morning came. But hiding the body before the show was... Also difficult because it still would have been considered nighttime. Kimiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. But they could have come in through the window. Which leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitch lit over there. <laughs> so the culprit placed Ryoma's corpse in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday? Which means, he was also killed during that time frame. Yay! Now we know what time the crime happened, right? I still don't really get it, though. Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? I'm sure we can narrow it down more if we consider the source of the information. Question is, what clue helps us determine when Ryoma was killed? I guess the insect meet and greet. Was Roma president? No. Okay, wait. It'd be somebody's alibi, probably. I believe anyone that going to capture that scene real. Uh. Okay, it needs to be something else. Man, we're getting our uh, get butts kicked. Um, it's not going to his account. The question is, what clue helps us determine when Ryoma was killed? Um, is there anything else with... 
The last person who saw Ryoma was Gonta. It was around eight. This is it. Yeah. Angie used Atua and Himiko's magic to do Ryoma it. Alive, we can narrow down the time of death. I agree. And Kara's guess is Harumi. Karumi. Okay. I'm still leaning on Angie and Mew. Those are my guesses. Kirumi, 